All right, so here's the agenda. We're going to talk about saving material operations. Some of these have already uh, been in the software for a little bit. We're going to expand on that with some of the new enhancements that, uh, that we brought in 25. The handrail grab bar P-loop, uh, the weld crank option, that's been a, a, a request for quite some time. Then we'll dive over into SDS2 toolbox items, finally get into the third-party API toolbox items, and then we'll get into some of your guys' questions. So without further ado, let's get started. Save material operations. So you can see there at the top of the slide on the left-hand side, uh, we're just adding on to the ones that we've already had. Like I mentioned before, some of these have been in the software for a while. The fit cope, fit exact, the cut layout, etc. Uh, we now have some new ones, that chamfer edge, the chamfer point to point, the cut on plane, and the fit miter. Basically, it's going to work just like some of the other saved material operations. You'll be able to go into, uh, into the material, edit that, delete them, without having to reset the entire material. And so why don't we jump over? I'll show you kind of how that works, and uh, you get a little sneak peek. So here's a couple different materials that we can use to showcase some of those uh, material operations we were talking about a minute ago. So first things first, got a nice flat plate here. Uh, we talked about being able to use the chamfer point to point or the chamfer edge. I'll demonstrate the chamfer edge. Go ahead and select that material, grab my edge, right click OK. And we've chamfered that edge. Now, if I come over here to uh, show material operations, you're going to see that there's that chamfer right there. It's going to store that just like it does the other chamfer operations that we've had in 24 and below. Uh, again, if we go up here, maybe use cut on plane, grab this material. There's that operation as well. Again, if we open the material, go to material operations, there they are. We'll close out of that, jump over to this fit and miter. Have a few bent plates here. I'm going to do uh, the same thing, right? Go ahead and fit and miter. Grab my two materials. Maybe give them a clearance of a half inch. We can show those as well so you can see that they are there. Obviously, these are independent of one another, right? So if I wanted to make this gap an, uh, an inch instead of a half inch, I would need to go into each one of those respectively uh, and adjust what that is going to be. Um, but you can see they're there. They're stored just like the other ones are, uh, just some more functionality in 25. And I think with that, we're going to kick it back over to Steve. Steve. 